guys welcome back to Kali J's kitchen in today's video I'll take you guys in the kitchen with me and we are going to prepare the most amazing breakfast from start to finish don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever I upload a new video go ahead and tell your friends tell your family members about Kali J's kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one. And also on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. So to a pot, I'm going to add one salted mackerel. Pour some water over it, allow it to boil. You want to boil it until you get rid of the excess salt. And once you finish boiling, you remove it, run it under some running water, and then you go ahead and pick up your salt mackerel, all right? So now that we're finished with the salt mackerel, I went ahead, put on a pot, added some vegetable oil, and then I'm going to go in at my bell peppers, my onion, and my scotch bonnet pepper. I did this off camera, chopped them up, I mean, just to save some time and all of that goodness, all right? So you want to extract all of that flavor from your scotch bonnet pepper and also from your onion guys remember to add a piece of garlic as well and make sure you get all of that flavor and all of that niceness all right remember you can get these items that i'm using today at your local supermarket or grocery store you can also visit your local farming um, market and you will get these items there as well all right so i will go ahead and add my tomato and my okra and guys normally some persons cook the okra before i normally cook it before also but we're not going to cook it um before we're just gonna cook everything together all right we don't want our okra we don't want any of the vegetables to be too soft so we're not going to add any water we're going to allow it to spring its own water so we're just gonna cover this turn it down on medium heat and allow it to just cook up a bit all right remember guys to go ahead and just pick up your salt mackerel just to save yourself some time all right so this is it as you can see it's bringing its own water and it's looking all lovely very colorful and nice so we're just gonna go ahead and add our salted mackerel and of course try to remove all of the bone from your salt mackerel sometimes it, it is impossible but try to remove as much as you can all right so I like to add a little bit of paprika to this and also some black pepper remember you guys don't need to add any other seasoning at all because the salt mackerel already contains some salt already all right and that would be a natural flavor you don't want to add anything else to it to kill the flavor of your salted mackerel all right so this is it so we're just gonna cover it and allow it to just cook down some more so while that is cooking down what we're going to do we are going to go ahead and prepare our green plantains so you just want to go ahead and just peel your plantains and guys be sure to put some vegetable oil on your hand even though I, I didn't put any on my hand just so that um, the plantain doesn't leave any stain on your hand, all right? I also went ahead and put my frying pot on the stove with my vegetable oil that I'm going to fry my plantain in. And what you want to do, you just want to go ahead and slice up your plantain in medium sizes to fry, all right? So we're just going to fry these. So what we're going to do, we're going to fry them on both sides for at least three minutes. And then we're going to remove them and we're going to crush, all right? So I have this wooden plantain crusher. I don't know what you guys call it, but I call it a plantain crusher. You guys can get it on Amazon. I paid $8, I think, 8 or 6 US dollars for it. You guys can always go ahead and just check and see if you can get one. All right, because when I post this on it, Instagram I realized a lot of persons was asking me where I got it from and I told them I got it from Amazon all right or if you live in Jamaica you can always go ahead and check Bashko or um, what's that one call again um, Azan Supercenter Azan Supercenter also sell them you guys can always check them all right So now that my plantains, they're all fried, what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and crush them. Guys, remember you don't need to add any salt to your plantains or any um, chicken seasonal purpose seasoning because 
the salt mackerel as i said earlier contains a little bit of salt already so you don't need to add any salt to this all right so once you crush your plant and what you want to do you just want to go ahead and just place it back in the hot oil and allow it to fry for an additional two minutes on each side all right really quick really easy simple and delicious so once you're finished frying our plantain, I'm going to serve this up and show you guys the final product. Stay tuned, guys. Remember to be creative again, guys. Remember to be you in the kitchen and most of all, utilize whatever you have at home. All right. So go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know if you guys will ever try this amazing recipe all right and let me know what you think so here you go guys the final product of this amazing breakfast i hope you guys enjoy this one i hope you guys go ahead and try it out and let me know what you think remember to subscribe to my channel remember to turn on your post notification bell remember to tell your friends and your families about cali j's kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys tomorrow for another awesome recipe. Bye.